Hello zoologists of all shapes and sizes, my name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 33rd episode of our Beast series. I'm happy to say we are done with the CR zeros, they are in the past. Now we look to New Horizons on the CR 18s. Uh, in terms of experience points, these will net you a whopping 25 experience points, as opposed to the 10 experience that the CR Zeros gotcha. We're out of the bush leagues now, boys, and now we're kind of still in the bush leagues. But at least these ones have a little bit more interesting stats and mechanics behind them. However, this is sadly not a great example of that. Right now, we're going to be taking a look at the Bloodhawk, which sounds super cool. The Bloodhawk is found in the basic rules, and once again, it is a CR 1.8. Now, let's take a look at its mechanics here. So, even with a name like the Bloodhawk, there's still not a whole lot to brag about here. It's essentially just a better hawk. So, considered to be a small beast that is unaligned. AC of 12, which is marginally better. Uh, 7 HP, which is actually substantially above the vast majority of CR zeros. Um, calculated by rolling 2d6. Uh, speed of 10 feet, but a 60 foot fly speed. So, like most birds, makes sense. Taking a look at his stats, you'll notice quite a bit dexterous and more wisdom, which is nice to have. However, certainly not the smartest, strongest, or most charismatic, so do bear that in mind. Taking a look at his skills, he has access to plus 4 perception, which is quite good. And that loans itself to a passive perception score of 14, which is decent. Certainly better than a lot of the CR zeros. Now let's take a look at his other traits. So the Bloodhawk gets access to Keen Sight, which loans it advantage on perception checks that rely on sight. Bloodhawk also has access to Pack Tactics, which give it advantage on attack rolls if a friendly creature is within 5 feet of the target. Very cool stuff. Now let's take a look at his actions. The Bloodhawk has the Beak Attack action, plus 4 to hit, which is great. Reach of 5 feet, can only target one target, and deals a whopping 4 damage, piercing damage to be more precise. And that is calculated by rolling 1d4 and adding a 2 modifier. Very good stuff. Honestly, I think the Bloodhawk would be a little bit more challenging for various party members who are scaling mountains, for example. I think that'd be great, and I'd have them kind of make a concentration check to maintain their climbing speed. That being said, let me know how you would use the Bloodhawk in your games. Also, be sure to mention any questions, comments, or concerns you may have. That being said, I hope you all have a great day, and as always, happy researching.